This is a video presenting peritoneal spread in the pelvis. First, we will take a look at the anterior compartment where the visceral carcinomatosis is located in the vesicouterine pouch and on the surface of bladder, followed by parietal carcinomatosis in the pouch of Douglas, visceral carcinomatosis on the bowel, and mesenterial carcinomatosis right here. This is a video presenting peritoneal spread in the pelvis. You can see the uterus and first we will take a look at the anterior compartment where the carcinomatosis is located in the vesicouterine pouch. In this patient the carcinomatosis is characterized as a diffuse, thick, hypoechogenic layer not infiltrating the bladder. The carcinomatosis is typically highly perfused, as we can see here. Now we are moving to the posterior compartment, where you can see an implant attached to the posterior uterine wall infiltrating sacrouterine ligament. The carcinomatosis is highly perfused. We are continuing here towards pouch of Douglas and you can see how the carcinomatosis is very thin but diffuse at the same time. Please know that the tumor is not infiltrating the muscle layer of rectum but it is clearly visible that the carcinomatosis has infiltrated deeply the sigmoid colon with the loss of hypoechoic muscle layer. This is visible here. And the carcinomatosis is highly perfused again. And lastly, we will move to the mesentery of sigmoid colon where the hypoechogenic nodules are contrasting nicely with echogenic mesentery fat tissue. You may be asking how we can tell where exactly the mesentery is located. It is right here, between the posterior wall of sigmoid colon and the suckle bone, which is typically here presented by echogenic line.